Okay. Okay, excellent. And I see Willie agreeing now. So, so at least two people believe that that uh, that uh, the that every point is an interior point. Is that the claim? Good. Yes. So, in our discrete, um, every point in our discrete is an interior point. Uh, does everybody agree with that? Interesting. That actually should maybe make some sense to us because really I've drawn the picture in the wrong way. This isn't the geometry of R discrete. The geometry of R discrete is a bunch of, it's a cloud of points, all distance one from each other, yes? So uh, what does it mean to, to have limit points? Could, could a cloud of discrete points have a limit point? Can, can things accumulate on, on any point? No, there's no points that can accumulate on, right? So this is the wrong picture, right? The metric gives us a sense of what the geometry should look like. Does every, is every point an interior point? Yeah, because you take a ball of radius a half, it comes completely contains just one point, and that's com in the set. You happy, right? So this is actually the wrong picture. This is, uh, this is really what the picture should look like. It's, this is what this is discrete space, isn't it? Right? I mean, it doesn't even quite look like this because this makes it look like these two points are farther from these two points, but all the points are alike. And now the, this point P, de definitely, uh, it maybe is more obvious what it should look like. If you wanted to embed the discrete space in a Euclidean space, it would have to be uh, infinite dimensional. In fact, it might even, if it's an uncountable set, it would have to be R to an, uh, uh, an uncountable product of R's, okay? which we could define. But, but what I want you to get you away from is thinking of sets as necessarily being embedded in a, in a Euclidean space, because Euclidean space is just one example of a space. Yeah, excellent question. Really, if you want to think about it, I mean, it, it, it's a simplex, right? It's corners of a big tetrahedron. That's what really what we're doing, right? If we're placing them all a distance one from each other, it would just have to be infinite dimensionally tetrahedron if the set were infinite. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's think about Q. What about Q? In the regular real line, does it have any limit points, the rationals? Does it have limit points? Yes? Which points are limit points? Every point is a limit point. So E and Q in R. Claim has what is limit points? Every point, why? Well, we haven't used the word dense yet, but why, why does every, why is every point a limit point? Now in R, of course, the picture looks like this, doesn't it? Whatever, get the picture. Okay, now these are all, oh, so, so E, sorry, E is actually a subset, right? It's, it's the green subset here is uh, just these points, right? Okay, now, what do you claim as limit points? You claim every point's a limit point. Is that true? Is it true that no matter which point P I take, a ball will contain rationals? Yes, we've proved that, right? Okay, so in fact, uh, in, uh, in R, E equals Q has all points limit points, has all points of R as limit points. All points of R, in fact. Any real number is a limit point. Okay? It didn't matter where that point P is. Oh, interesting. Very good. Okay. So uh, that's kind of neat. What about, uh, what about the, are there isolated points of Q? No. So sim similar, similar uh, 
well, one way, easy way to see that is isolated point c can't be a limit point, can it, right? Everything's a limit point, can't be isolated. Excellent. What about the discrete metric? Explode the space and then take a subset of those that are rationals. Are there limit? No. No limit points, right? For the same reason that R had no limit points, right? This is a smaller set. Can't have limit points. Okay, excellent. So um, good practice there. Uh, let's turn to uh, a theorem that, ooh, a question that Willie asked, which I just gave away, so I'll just tell you the answer is yes. Um, <laughs> the question was, uh, is it true that if P is a limit point of E, then, in fact, every neighborhood contains infinitely many points of P, contains not just one point, but infinitely many points of E? That was Willie's question. Is that true? Well, I claim it is. Can somebody give me an argument why? Katie. Oh, ooh, interesting. OK, so let me draw a picture here, if you don't mind. Here's a set E. Here is P, which we claim is a limit point of E. Ooh, OK. Ooh, I like that. That's nice. OK, great. So here's a proof by contradiction. Thank you, Katie. Proof by contradiction starts off by saying, OK, well, what's the negation of every neighborhood of P? There exists a neighborhood of P which doesn't do this, which doesn't contain infinitely many points, right? Ha with me? So there exists, uh, so by contradiction, I'm just sketching this. There exists a neighborhood N uh, of P with only finally many points. Okay, good. And let's, we might as well give these points of E names. How about calling them, colon, E1 through EN? There we go. Here's a neighborhood, and it has these points E1 through, there are only finally many, EN. And now Katie says what? There's going to be a least distance. Why is there going to be a least distance? Because every finite set of numbers has a, a most element, right? Or actually, it's, it's, it's really the, it's really the, uh, the uh, has an infimum, right, which is achieved, OK, which you proved on your homework, right? You did the supremum version. So here we go. Consider, uh, let's let, well, I'll just cut to the chase here by letting this distance call it r be the minimum of the distances from P to E sub i, where I'm going to take the minimum over all i from 1 to e big N. Everybody happy with that? I'm boxing this because that's the key point. There's a period here. I just hard to see. And you should remind the reader why the minimum exists, right? So and you wouldn't do it by the shorthand I'm doing now, you'd write it out in a sentence, but OK, exists because the set is finite, right? P, A, E, I are finite. Excellent. And now, Katie says, what do you do with that minimum distance? Excellent. And so I would just say then, but the neighborhood of that distance R around P has 